Oh, yeah, here we go. Bill Gergen on your left, eight <laughs> rep. Jeremy Lichtenberg on your right with Blue Black Mill. Let's go. This should be this should be a real hoot. Water grave to start. Here's an Urborg. Inquisition of Kozlug. So there's an archive track, a glimpse. I believe a crypt incursion, a visions of beyond. And one card, I'm not sure. This Vision. is a delight. Archive trap and snaring bridge, visions, glimpse, and crypt incursion. Oh, it's snaring bridge. Okay, that's what I missed. Yeah. Of course, in snaring bridge, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> so I would take glimpse. That's the best rate that this deck has of doing its thing. Ah, uh, you and your rates. I do think Glimpse is a pretty good take. Bill going to write these cards down here. This is interesting. This will be new territory for both players, probably. Glimpse the Unthinkable from Ravnica Block. Blue, black, Demir card. Target player puts the top ten cards of his or her library in his or her graveyard. I used to cast this one a lot, actually. Yeah. In my dredge days, back in 2010. Yeah, back in 2010. In extended. Those were the days. Back to Jeremy. Look at him tap that fetch land for black mana. Yep, nope. Yes. Yep, got him. Got the, got the spot and everything. Glimpse you. All right, ten cards. Shrieking Affliction, Mutavolt, Swamp, The Rack, Liliana, Mutavolt, Fatal Push, Inquisition. All right, good glimpse. Let's go to Bill. Bill has drawn a Mutavolt. Interesting. If Bill, had, I believe he has Wrench Mine in hand. A little interesting he didn't take the Ensnaring Bridge to free up that Wrench Mine to be a discard too. Maybe he just feels like the Glimpse is so threatening. He's got to get that out of hand, mm -hmm. which I think is could be very easily be true. Wrench Mine, of course, says discard target player discards two cards unless they discard an artifact. And the Ensnaring Bridge is the artifact that Jeremy Lichtenberg did discard. Lichtenberger, pardon me. Visions. Just going to draw one card. The follow-up will be a Hedron Crab. Oh, yeah. Sacrifice that polluted delta to search up a basic island. We got a lot of cards we got to take a look at here, folks. Hedron Crab. Some people might be new to that one. The O2 Crab from Zendikar. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, target player puts the top three cards to his or her library in his or, his or her graveyard. You can target yourself with that one if you're a dredge player, or you target your opponent if you're trying to mill them out. Funeral Charm the draw. Inquisition of Coes like the spell. I believe that's a Crypt Incursion. Yeah. I believe. Right. Those are the arc and that two archive traps. And those are those are bad archive traps. Who are those bad archive traps? An opponent searched his or her library this turn. You may pay zero rather than pay archive traps mana cost. Target Dude. opponent puts the top 13 cards in his or her library. Dude, a field of ruin off the top. That's Kane. Here's a funeral charm. Discard an archive trap. Shrieking Affliction is about to trigger now. Lichtenberger. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Here's some Dark Flick Shores, which will trigger each rock crap. All right, three cards will go away. And, and now we wait. <laughs> <laughs> Can we race the Shrieking Affliction? Uh. That is the question. <laughs> <laughs> and now we wait is nice. Mutavolt coming on in after a fatal push to carry the crab. Notice the coast is clear. Down to just archive trap in hand. Mm -hmm. Mm 
there are some real some real fun ones here. An island past the turn back. I, I'm looking at Jeremy's main deck. He's got a couple copies of Trapmaker Snare. Manic Scribe. Fraying Sanity. And a Mind Funeral. Another Muta Vault here for Bill. So I think this puts Lichtenberger basically dead on board now. Falls to six and then two and then out. Ooh. <laughs> Boro. <laughs> with the crab. With you, a, with you get it. <laughs> That's It works with the crab. Yeah. It works with the crab. That's just good deck building right wow. there. Wow. There's Raven's Crime. <sighs> yeah, check it. Scope it out. Yep, that's going to do it. Bill Garrigan is going to win game number one here over Jeremy Lichtenberger. Eight rack up a game here over Blue Black Mill. <laughs> I can't wait to see what the next game is going to look like, as that one was quite the hoot. We're going to see a bunch of cards coming in. I think Jeremy is just sideboarding face up. I am loving everything about this. I really am. Just to every aspect. This is just mad. I mean, I guess the deck box is blocking it in theory, but I am loving this. Yep, yep. We will have more about what those cards are. We are back. Cedric Phillips, Patrick Sullivan here in Minneapolis for SCG Minneapolis. Hashtag SCG M-I-N-N at SCG Tour for your tweets as we are watching 8-Rack versus Blue Black Mill. And take a look at this sideboard. Three to spell. A Mind Break Trap, a Ravenous Trap. Set Adrift, Engineered Explosives. Damnation Negate, Surgical Extraction. Profane Memento. Hercules Recall. Echoing Truth, Sorcerer's Spyglass, and Grafdigger's Cage. Go ahead, partner. <laughs> Negate. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, Bill's deck's got a lot of spells in it. And I like the explosives, too, to, to manage the, the sources of damage. Four Tormod's Crypt, three Delirium Skeens, two Death Shadow, two Fulminator Mage, a Fatal Push, a Bantu's Last Reckoning, and an Asylum Visitor. I, I love bringing it. This is, like a gr I think, a great matchup for Delirium Skeens. Okay. Just, just run Lichtenberger out of cards, and I would bring in the one Asylum Visitor as well. Can you name, can you tell me what Profane Memento does? No. I don't have the slightest idea. I don't know. I actually don't know, and I know most cards. 
All right. Profane, profane memento. I can't tell you what set it's from. The only thing I can tell you is that it's black. Probably. be weird if it wasn't. Let's get this one up. I, I, it's not black? What the heck? Whenever a creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you gain a... What is that for? Probably, I would guess, burn. Creature card is put into an opponent's graveyard. Oh, and a creature card. Is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere. You get dredge? Yeah, dredge. Okay. Yeah, 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 because you mill them. They want to be milled. Okay. I've never even seen that card before. It's probably still above the board against burn if they got 14 creatures. You're still milling them some amount of the time. And it's not like you need a one-mana card to gain all the life in the world for it to be worth it. Nice. It's tough sledding with these archive traps. They're very bad in this matchup. These are the feel of ruin combo. Yeah. These are the worst they'll be. Sorcerer Spyglass. Going to bite the dust from the Inquisition. Visions will cycle. This one from M12. I know this one. Draw a card. If a graveyard has 20 or more cards in it, draw three cards instead. Sacrifice a fetch land. Will Lichtenberger. Really surprised. That's a, that's a card that I did not correctly guess its impact. I thought... It doesn't. It's not like one mana draw a card at instant speed has to do a whole lot more f to show up in winning decks. Mm -hmm. Pretty surprising to me how little play it's seen over the course of its its life. Here's a glimpse. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's head back over to Bill for his second turn. I am a little surprised Visions has not been better. Yeah, uh, I, I guessed wrong on that one. Ooh, Surgical Extraction. Hmm, what are we taking here? If the cards are in the hand, that's sweet. And if they're in the deck, that's sweet too. Uh, yep. Liliana of the Veil, huh? None of those in Bill's hand. He's got the Rack, Delirium Skeens, Inquisition, Raven's Crime. Couple of lands here in Swamp and Mutavault. A tough sledding here for Jeremy Lichtenberger. But all the Liliana of the Veils are gone now. So there's that. Because that card strikes me as a very tough one for him to beat. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. No, addi no additional. Uh, no, no, no contacts. No, no, yeah. no follow up there. Doesn't have to worry about Liliana for remainder of the game. Three cards out of the deck. That's like a bolt, basically. <laughs> Pretty same card. It's a bolt, but they're at sixty, but really fifty-three, and they take a point of damage <laughs> turn. <laughs> All right, let's see what Bill wants to do now. With the Rack and Raven's Crime, I think, you, you know, just run it, run them out here. Run them out. Inquisition. There goes Visions. Oh, he's got the combo. He's got the yes, combo. he does have the combo. I think he's going to lose the rest of his hand, unfortunately, but I don't know. I do love how excited you are about the combo, but it is a combo. It is a combo. There's a Swamp. Raven's Crime. Well, boy, what do you do now? Get rid of the Archive Trap. I think you just need to play empty-handed with the Field of Ruin in play and hope to draw well off the top of your deck. Didn't get a great gr great look at Lichtenberg's draw step. He'll play the Field of Ruin. That's an answer to Mutavault. That's always good. Surgical Extraction and Visions of Beyond. Not exactly. What do you call that? A drawing from the same well. <laughs> <laughs> so not a combo. Not a combo. Got it. All right, we'll go back over to Bill now. This is another Surgical. Yep. <laughs> 
more non-bows, unfortunately, for Jeremy. What's he want to take this time? If there's a win condition in there, take a win condition. All right, took a mute vault. If not, you probably take the Raven's Crime, just as, you know, it's a thing. It's the, the closest thing that he has a flashback. Ooh, Sniper got him. <laughs> I don't know how we're beating these fulminator, this Fulminator Major, this rack. Oh, um, oh my, no. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> One problem at a time, please. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to overwhelm you. I apologize. I mean, you know, a couple damage from the, uh, a turn from the rack versus Lichtenberger drawing well from here. Not inconceivable. I definitely like Gergen's position here, but Lichtenberg has some huge draws. And he's gotten under out from under the delirium schemes. He has done that. This is going to be difficult. There's a swamp. Yeah, get a clock. Don't. I would not play the full meter. I like Gurgen getting a clock on. How do you like that rack placement? It's like sort of facing Jeremy off to the side. Not ideal. Kay. But to Gergen's credit, he has been trying to let Lickenberger read all the cards he's been playing. Though. I agree. So it's it's not if it, if this was the first time that he had a card oriented, you know, uh, let's call that a hundred and a <laughs> hundred and five degrees in the wrong <laughs> direction or whatever. I, you know that that would be worse. But it, it, it's in line with how he's handled things thus far. The rack is hanging out here. Jeremy is in a lot of trouble. Yeah, because the, the rest of his hand here is going to get blown up by the uh, delirium schemes if Gergen wants to go that way. He needs to draw up extremely well from here. I don't even know what the sequence of draws would be. It starts with it Ooh. starts with visions from beyond. If he can ancestral, then he can start put patting himself a little bit against the rack. He can go from there. Bill might be thinking about delirium schemes after he got in that shot there with the fulminator mage. He'll play another fulminator instead. And we'll head back over to Jeremy Lichtenberger, it appears, in just a moment. Archive trap. All right. Yep. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> this boy's pumped up. And Bill will draw a copy of Shrieking Affliction. That's really, really bad for, your, for Lichtenberger. <laughs> the, hope, the hope was he would get one more turn. Maybe he's drawing to something, mm -hmm. you know? But uh, that, that affliction paired with the skeins is going to just cut this game out. It all appears to be pretty bad news. There is Shrieking Affliction. There's the skeins. No. Uh. Uh. At least, at least do the combo. Come on. Oh. Yep. We're all done. Boy, that was a beatdown of epic proportions. Bill Ber Gergen, excuse me, is going to win this match here against Jeremy Lichtenberger. Two games to zero. Eight rack destroys Blue Black Mill. And I uh, I just don't know how Jeremy is supposed to win, <laughs> win the match when his archive traps and his orbs just don't really do anything. Oh, man. That is just I, – I just don't know what he can do. He just needs I, – I think it's like he needs a top deck of visions in a clutch spot. Because yeah. his hand – he's not going to be able to protect his hand for the whole game. So he just needs to draw an ancestral recall in a high leverage spot and pat himself from there. Yeah. It's, he it's wasn't – I mean, I, I think uh, Gergen didn't have that much of a deck left. He, okay. was, he wasn't that far off from being able to mill him out. But he just – too much clock, hand got attacked, et cetera, et cetera. Yep. So it goes. So it does go. So that means we got an eight rack player five and one, man. It's great. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty cool. Haven't seen it in a minute. No, outside of Tom Ross, we don't really see it very much here on the SC Tour circuit. And with him brewing up some cards for us through the coast of the play design team, we don't really see it at all. So congratulations to Bill Gergen, now 5-1 with good old 8-Rack. I've just been informed that our next feature match is, j is just getting ready for game number three. So we'll have 
deck list in front of us here in just a moment, and then we're going to head on down, find out what we're going to watch here. I want to see some more mill action, too. It's more mill action than we get in the average modern that's, weekend. You that's know? a good point. I can't complain about how much we got. Steve Rodman. <laughs> Hexproof. Okay. Jim, da <laughs> Jim Davis. Just got in trouble. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, Jim's got some ways to manage some things. He's got to bless the Lions. Uh, nice sweepers. I say some ways. More like two or three. Not a ton, actually. Yeah, he's got like a sweeper or two. Uh, let's head down there. Let's do that. See if uh, see if Jim can draw pretty well. He's got a wear tear. He's got engineer explosives. Yeah, he's got. I don't know. He's got some stuff. Yeah, a lot of these cards are in the sideboard because they overlap in a. In a